r slash ask reddit. If you've ever asked the universe for some kind of sign, and got it clear as day, what was it, and how did it go? My, then, girlfriend was having a really awful week. I felt terrible for her, which made me realize how serious our relationship was because empathy is not a strong suit of mine. She wanted to take a trip to the Grand Tetens to clear her head. She wanted to see a muse on this trip, but it was August so relatively unlikely, since they tend to move to higher elevations that time of year. I had never seen a muse in the wild. Before we left, I thought, if we see a muse on this whirlwind 72 hour road trip I will take it as a sign I should marry this girl. Sure enough, right in the middle of the day, on one of the busiest trails in the park, is a great big bull moose hanging out in the lake. Married 5 years this year. We live in Australia. I'm going to try and raise my kids so they think moose are fictional. Like unicorns. Really excited to get yelled at by them in a few years. This is great. I think everyone has to raise their kids with one or two crazy stories thrown in disguised as truth. A friend of mine told his kids growing up that a fork is called a fork because it has four tines and if it has three tines it's called a threek. They believed it for years and it made for a funny moment when they found out the truth. I really don't like my job, and I've been daydreaming about what I could do. I just needed a place, to be able to do it. The next day I get, offered to house sit for a couple years in this big Japanese house, that has a storefront in the front. There's a perfect space, to do what I would want to do. I would live rent free, and be able to save up, to buy my own business visa here. I wouldn't need to work in this job anymore. Make sure there is no one in the basement. All my life, whenever I went to the beach I had wanted to find an intact sand dollar. I had found lots of pieces, but never a whole one. When I was in my mid 30s, I went with a group of friends to the coast. I was walking alone along the beach and the moonlight closed to midnight. I was feeling very sorry for myself in the dark, and really lonely, even though I was with my friends that weekend. I had just started thinking the thought, wouldn't it be a great sign right now to know, that I'm loved, if I finally found a sand dollar. I had barely formed the thought, when I looked down, and right at my feet, was an intact sand dollar. Universe told your insecurities, I'm gonna pay you one sand dollar to duck off. I decided to kill myself about the age of 13. Life sucked, and I planned to go home from church that night and off myself if there was no direct intervention. Out of nowhere my aunt stopped me and said, I feel like you need to come home with me. And I'm still here. Damn bitch. I hope you are doing better now. Next week I'll be 30, something I never thought I'd be. Ups and downs, but so many great things I'd have missed otherwise. Had to choose between McDonald's and Taco Bell. I flipped a coin and chose McDonald's. Friend got Taco Bell, and had food poisoning. I was in the depths of despair, I had lost my great job, had to travel 2 hours every day with heavy tools each way to a temporary job I was doing. Sitting on the bus thinking my world was over and it all kind of got to me all at once, and I began to tear up, not wanting to bawl my eyes out in public I held it in. So I asked for something anything that could show me, that life wasn't worthless. A lady I didn't see, must have how bad I was, or maybe it was just coincidence, but just after I cried out in my head. I heard the words, everything is going to be okay. It saved my life. Did everything turn out okay? Did you get a better job? Yeah two days later I got a call for a permanent position. Lottery tickets. I was always curious about lottery tickets, but never wanted to indulge in it. One day in a grocery store, I told the universe, I'm going to buy a lotto ticket now, not the grand bumper ones, just a simple scratch one, for the first time in life. If I win a prize, I'll take it as a sign from you, and never buy it again. I bought a ticket for $3, scratched it and won 
I smiled and donated $250 of the amount. Enjoyed some good food multiple times with the other $250. Never bought or looked at a lottery ticket again. Will never do. Don't buy them, but pick them up off the ground. Maybe like one tenth times I win a dollar or another ticket. Nothing of value really, but it's still fun to win something from nothing. Once I won $20 from a ticket I picked up off the ground. Where are you, that you just find lottery tickets on the ground more than one time? I don't think I've seen lottery tickets on the ground ever, and I pay attention. In USA they're all over the place in front of gas stations or 7-11s. I'm in Australia right now, and thinking about it, I don't see them on the ground here. I had asked the universe for a sign of good and friendly people really existing out in this world. I know, it's kinda stupid, but I had struggled with making friends that weren't toxic, and I felt like I just wasn't destined to have great friends. About 2 days, after I had asked for a sign, I went to my local park, to do my daily routine of sitting down, smoking my cigarettes, and reading and for some strange reason, a pair of strangers came up to me and introduced themselves. We ended up talking with each other for what felt like hours and eventually, I had asked them, why they came up to me, and the guy said, oh, we made a deal to see, if we could make any new friends and we did. You're a new friend. After, we all walked, and got some cookies and ice cream and chilled again, by the river this time. They both are now my closest friends, and it all started, because I was at the right place, and at the right time for them to come up to me. I strongly believe, that it was the universe's doing, and I'm so grateful for it. Can you ask the universe to have me meet my future girlfriend? This wasn't really asking for a sign, but I was going through a lot, and in a really shitty and dark place, like the kind of place I honestly wasn't sure I'd survive. I was teetering on the edge of despair and genuinely going down the path towards doing something insanely drastic. I basically just asked the universe for help one day, while in the middle of another crying episode, and I had this strange, sunny feeling kind of leak into the darkness I was harboring inside of me. The next day, by chance, I met my group of friends on a video game I played regularly at the time. They lived in an entirely different city, and had entirely different lives from me, but we all just... clicked. It took a month or two for me to settle into that friendship, and understand that they were gonna stick around, and they've been my best friends for 3 years now. Some of my best memories are from that first summer, that I knew them. I genuinely don't think I would have survived that time in my life, had I not met them. I was feeling incredibly alone, and I was trying to come to terms with a lot of things all at once. I'm infinitely grateful for them, and I can't help but think that the universe was listening that day when, as a last ditch effort, I asked it for help. People often underestimate the usefulness of video games beyond mere entertainment. I moved away from my hometown, and my best friend still lives there. One of our greatest ways of bonding, is playing video games together. I was in a bad time of my life. I grew up quite naive and did like to say sheltered. So when my first boyfriend broke up with me, it was the worst thing, that ever happened to me. He was my first, and I took it very seriously, so it made it 1000 times worse for me. I already had depression but this knocked me onto suicidal territory. I wasn't sleeping, lost 20 pounds, because I won't eat, I felt sickly, weak, and just didn't wanna be here anymore. I felt like no one cared, I just wanted someone to hold me, and tell me that it'll be okay. I like to drive, and blast my music when I'm upset to unwind, so I started to drive on the highway and I decided I was finally going to end it. A few minutes before I was going to gear my car off the highway into the lining of trees, I looked in my rear view mirror, and saw an ambulance driving behind me. I had never seen an ambulance on the highway that didn't have its signal going, and immediately broke down and cried, the ambulance was just cruising behind me. I took that as a sign, that the universe did care, and that I was significant. So I drove home to my mother, and told her I needed help. I was taken to the hospital, 
put on medication, and went to therapy for my underlying issues and depression. A year and a half later I'm off medication, no longer needing therapy, and currently thriving. That ambulance truly saved me that day. It's kind of crazy how depression can just sneak up on you like that. One day it's manageable, and then it seems like it spirals out of nowhere. I'm not superstitious at all, but my uncle is. When my nan passed he went to see a fortune teller who told him that in a time our family sees white feathers around, that's nan's way of showing us that she's there. I thought it was a load of bullshit, and forgot about it. A few years later I was at a music festival. Everything was coated in dirt and dust being churned up by thousands of people's feet. Even the air was, so thick with dust it was making it hard to see and breathe. I was on the edges of the mosh pit, when I started to have my first panic attack. I'd never had one before, didn't know what was happening to me, and I was terrified. I felt like I was being crushed, and like I was the only person in the world at the same time. I remember desperately thinking, I don't want to be alone, I don't want to be here alone, I crouched down in the middle of the dirty dusty crown, and when I opened my eyes there was a single white feather on the ground right between my feet. It was perfectly white, no dirt, not stepped on or anything, in a mosh pit. I stared at the feather, until I could get my breathing under control and get out of there, and I still have that feather. I was walking. What would have been a 4 hour drive. And I was walking. I straight up begged for a car, to stop and pick me up and literally seconds later a woman stopped who was traveling all the way to where I was heading. Same town. 4 hours away. What are those odds? Similar thing happened to me, a guy picked me up, when I was hitchhiking, and was going to drop me off at the train station, so I could catch a coach to my hometown 4 hours away. As we were chatting we realized we were heading to the same town, he was a delivery driver doing drop offs along the way. He offered for me to stay with him in the car, I helped him map out his deliveries, and he bought me a pub feed, and dropped me off outside my parents place, and came in for a cuppa and met them. My wife and I had been considering getting a second cat for some time without reaching any conclusion. Then, as I was walking back to the apartment one evening, a young feline popped up out of the drainage beside the sidewalk. Basically, he just looked at me and said, let's cut to the chase. I'll be moving in with you now. You need a cat. I'm a very cute, completely adorable kitten. The only problem I see here is, that you might not be smart enough to recognize this opportunity. Be your best self right now, dude. So I looked at him and said, I can't make this decision solo. Let me go get the wife. He just looked at me, and nodded his head like, go on, I'll wait. Considering that she just decided that today was cat bath day, he may be regretting the decision, but I'm completely okay with the way things have gone over the past years. I had gotten a job at a retail store, and went in for the orientation and to do training. The vibe was kind of off in the store, but I ignored it. I got to the back where the computers were, but couldn't shake the feeling of being uncomfortable. In my head I said, alright universe. If I'm not meant to work here, show me some kind of sign. Make them send me home for the day or something. About an hour later, a huge storm rolled in, and shut off the power in the store. The manager came in, and said for me to go home, since their computers weren't working, and I couldn't do my training. A couple months later, and I was working at a new job, that I absolutely love. I asked if I should bother sending a text to my abusive ex. My phone responded by discharging all of its electricity through the charger port, and refusing to turn back on. Good phone. In January I expressed to a colleague it would be amazing to have a few months off to just do nothing but rest and recharge, he said it would be good for me, but not so good for my colleagues. I said okay, I want us all to have a few months off to rest and recharge, without the shop permanently closing, we can all come back, when we've had a good rest. Then this lockdown has happened. With so many people dead worldwide, I'd just like to say on behalf of all of us. 
please don't ask for any more signs, because this is some real monkeys poor shit right here.